Well, listen, uh, there have been a lot of rumors. I love rumors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that Universal would uh, make a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's, and now it's official. According to Variety, Universal Pictures and Blumhouse Productions, which backed the first film, confirmed the news at CinemaCon, but they didn't share an exact release date. Plot details or returning cast members for the follow-up. John, true or false, uh, making a Five Nights sequel is a good idea for Universal. True. <laughs> I mean, listen, I, I got to admit, I did not love the movie. I, I didn't. I was really excited about it, but I didn't end up loving it. I don't no. think it's garbage, but I didn't really like it. But the fact, Ray, you can look this up yeah, for yeah, me, yeah. the actual box office work. But I think, I think it made like north of 200 million. 291 million. 291 Dude. million dollars. And by the way, it made 291 million while being released on the same day on Peacock. Yeah, that's inc that's crazy. Now, it granted, an nobody has Peacock, <laughs> but it had an incredible <laughs> opening too with 80 million. You had an 80 million dollar, but 290 something isn't that great of a result when you open with 80. Sure. But still, but this movie costs like what, like third, not even 30 million dollars to make. It was an epic win. 20 million dollars to make. Epic I'm gonna say win. 20. I think it was 20 million dollars to make somewhere in that neighborhood. 20 million. 20 million to make made close to 300 million i mean you got to be brain dead if you don't green light this thing going into sequel just hopefully they make it a little bit better rob true or false true they should be making it true 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 i no commentary other i mean than that? no my commentary is it is that this movie was monstrously profitable and there's no reason why you shouldn't make another one of these hell i'd green light two and make the trilogy I mean, there's no reason why you can't shoot both of them back to back and go for Helm's Deep <laughs> and uh, Gondor. Helm's the Helm's Deep and Gondor. This is the of kind the of Five film Nights we're talking franchise. about. That's I mean, true. you know, why not make make the Return of the King of the Five Nights at Freddy's right. movies? And they really need to position this film to open during Halloween, like the first one did. It, it just puts it yeah. in a better position. I think. I think so. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it it could be. I I wonder if they'll do the day and date release again, though. Look. You know us. We, I think that's a mistake. Yeah. I think they probably would have made more money because it shows th this franchise has a monster fan base that turned out for it, and people went back again. People like this movie. I mean, they won't day and date it. I don't think so. They're just going to go theater first. Yeah, I, I don't know because they're desperate to get more eyeballs on Peacock. And like I said, like nobody has Peacock except me. <laughs> I think I think I'm the only one in this room who has Peacock. Uh, and and so. I don't even uh, use it. No, you know, you know, very, I try to delete it from your <laughs> take the break, I try to take <laughs> I'm like, I for your own this, good, John. It's delete. taking up space on my recently used app. I mean, our, <laughs> our recently used app. Sure, right, right. John?